hello everyone um on this video i'm going to show you how to do trick functions using your calculator so the first thing you press your mode button and then then you press three for table then it just give you f at x is equals to okay here we're going to do the sine graph then you say sign now you need your x your x you do alpha that red thing alpha and then when you look at your calculator there's an x there then close your bracket then say equals to then it gives you another function but you don't want to do two functions you only want to do one so do equals to again then it says start when it says start like that you're going to look at the um, interval that they've given you in the question paper so it depends on the particular question paper let's say here they've given us minus 180 or minus 360 let's do minus 360 we're going to start at minus 360 this is are the x values and then we say equals to then it says end we're going to end where the interval is going to tell you we're going to end at 360 then we say equals to then the next thing when it says steps it wants the intervals it wants you remember the sine graph the cos graph the interval there's a change in 90 degrees so it wants that you're going to write 90 degrees right and then you say equals to then it should give you a table this table there's an x those are x coordinate and f at x those are y coordinate so at minus 360 when x is minus 360 your y is zero then you take this coordinate you draw your graph let's look at another function okay the next function we're going to draw this function y is equal to cos 2x and the interval is x is greater than minus 180 less than 180 now with this function you see they've changed the interval they've changed the period you remember the sine graph and the cos graph the period is 360 but when the, the, you write a number next to the x like that you are changing the period you're actually dividing the period by two so when we do in the calculator we need to remember that when you do the step the interval where there's a change you need to change the interval not to be 90 cos and sine is 90 but when it has that number you, you take the 90 and divide it with that number okay. let's go we start mode three and then we write our function it's cos so it's cos and then you have a two and then then you, you do your alpha your x then you close your bracket then you say equals to it giving you the other function we're doing one function so we're going to go equals to again and then we're going to start our interval was minus 180 equals to and then we're going to end at 180 and then equals to and then the step you remember the for the cost graph and the sine graph it's 90 there's a change in every 90 degrees but because it has a 2 it's 90 divided by 2 our interval will be 45 then you say equals to then we get that table when it's minus 180 and then your y is 1 minus 135 your y is 0 then you take the coordinates and draw the graph okay when you are done drawing the graph now you are going to another section you want to clear the calculator you go shift nine and then it's, it's three clear all and then equals two and then ac the new calculator is cleared you can do any section this is the end of our lesson please practice thank you for watching